Hey, you all, Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the South. More specifically, we are on Walt Disney World property. We've uh, we've made it through the hurricane. It wasn't too bad. I think people people in Florida were, were relatively unconcerned. A, a lot of rain, a little bit of wind. Nothing nothing out of the usual here in Florida. Kind of just camped out in uh, in the hotel room. But today, the skies literally just was lightning so i was about to say the skies are are clear actually the skies are not that clear it actually looks like it's going to rain but i think that is that is unrelated to the tropical storm to the hurricane but uh we're actually today at cast connect cast connection <laughs> this is a uh a, a store it is it is on Disney property is where they sell merchandise. It is open primarily to cast members, but they are also allowed to invite friends to come along with them. So uh, we are gonna take a look today at Disney's private store, Yay. Cast Connection. So please, follow us. Outside of the store here, they do have these giant animal heads. Have a, a tiger right there. I'm not sure where these are from. Also, uh, kind of a tiki-like face over here. If you know where these were from, leave a comment in the comment section. I do not remember where they uh, move these from. So this first section is stuff that's actually from the resorts from the theme parks, stuff that uh, is just not needed anymore on property and is been put up for sale. You see a lot of furniture here from the resorts and this is super cool here. This is like, I don't know what resort this would have been from, but it's, you can see it's like a uh, theme like the Incredibles. Like you have the incredible costumes hanging up here in the closet, only 250 bucks. Seems like a pretty decent price. And look at this, this vanity here, this probably would have been backstage where uh, characters or cast members getting ready, putting makeup on. Jen, did you already find something? I did, look at him, look at his little star eyes. Why is there his eyes stars? I don't know, but I love him, and he's, he's got, like, very happy. He's got like pointy little teeth See? there. Tiny little, <laughs> tiny little chewy. <laughs> now I think a lot of the items you'll find here are maybe like uh, slightly damaged or or have something unusual about him. I noticed this this <laughs> Chewy's tag is It's bigger than he is. It's like he's got this like extra oh. long tag. So I guess he was rejected for his excessive oh, don't see. his excessive tagness. To cover his ears. I think he's gonna hurt his don't feelings. See that. You're not a reject. <laughs> a reject oh a little reject Chewy. Oh. And we have a Captain Jack Sparrow there. Made out of mega blocks, so these are not Legos, but kind of an off-brand uh, Mega Blocks. They have a full-bodied uh, Captain Jack Sparrow. And we just have this giant stone stalagmite here. Again, uh, if you guys see anything that you recognize from a certain part of the park, uh, leave a comment in the comment section so we can try to like identify some of this stuff. There's some sports figures over here. We got Pete with the big bat. Of course, Peg Leg Pete with his uh, peg for a leg there. One of the original Disney villains. We have Horace Horse Collar here. He looks like he's playing hockey. I wonder if these are from the uh, is it Pop Century Sports Resorts. Just throwing that out there as an idea. Or maybe the uh, ESPN Wide World of Sports Arena. I don't know. Where do you guys think these uh, sporty characters are from? And then you see here, we got Goofy with a baseball bat. This, I, rem I think I remember an old Goofy cartoon where he had the baseball bat. Do you guys remember those old Goofy cartoons that had the, the narrator that talked about what Goofy was doing? It was Goofy's How to Play Baseball. Goofy's How to Play Baseball. Yeah. So there's, a, okay, so it's from a cartoon. Goofy's How to Play Baseball. So yeah. yeah, usually you'd have like a narrator probably explaining how baseball worked, what you're supposed to do, and then you have Goofy, like doing like, uh, for lack of a better term, doing Goofy things and, and messing things up. Yeah, I remember watching those as a as a small child. This big cannon here, and apparently a lot of these props 
are not yet for sale. Um, apparently they've moved some props here and then we'll release them just at random. You don't know when something's actually gonna go on sale. I don't know where this is from. I don't know, maybe possibly Pirates of the Caribbean? So according to the tag, this is not from Pirates of the Caribbean. This was actually uh, from Hollywood Studios. So I'm not sure, I can't think of where there would be a cannon at Hollywood Studios, but uh, now it's here at uh, Cast Connection. I have a giant Mickey back here. I don't know, he's probably, probably a parade float, I would guess. He's got his crystal ball that says, once upon a time there. Big old Mickey. And this is pretty amazing. This is actually a, uh, a costume. This is uh, Caterpillar from Bugs Life. I think, I think his name is Heimlich, if I remember correctly. But yeah, this I is the really costume. Wanna put it on. You want to wear the costume? I don't think we should, but <laughs> you're gonna sneak up in there. You can yeah. sneak up in there, and then they can scare people yeah, that come over here to <laughs> come over here to look at him. But yeah, you can see how someone would go in there, put their arms in here. You can kind of see uh, his neck there. And breathe holes. Yeah, it's got air holes so the person inside doesn't uh, doesn't suffocate. That is really, that is really cool. Up here in the rafters, we got some props from Toy Story. You see the uh, army men there. And then we got uh, Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head there. Mr. Potato Head wearing the uh, Fantasia Magician's hat. And we got the aliens there from the claw machine. And see, it looks like their necks moved at some point. I don't know if those are costumes or some uh, maybe animatronics that were on a parade float. But uh, yeah, so cool seeing this stuff up close in here. So this area is restricted here. We can't just walk back here, but you can peek. And uh, some, some interesting stuff. Look at that. What is that? It's like a giant eyeball character that I've never seen before. It's a statue here. See the Dumbo sign. See that uh, singing chicken over there. And what is that? It is a zombie riding a police tricycle. I've never seen that anywhere on Disney property. If someone knows what that is, please leave a comment in the comment section. And up here we got, uh, looks like a real live Wall-E. It's like a life-size Wall-E. I don't know if that was like something that they could drive around. At some point, there's actually a, a Wally animatronic or character of some sort. What's that, Jen? It's a Star Wars holocron. What's a holocron? There's like a little hologram inside. Is there like a little person in there? Yeah, can you see? Do you know who it is? It looks like a Jedi. It looks like a Jedi? It's a Jedi robe. I can't tell. Let's see. Oh yeah, I can see it. There's someone in there. Yeah, so here's the bin of Star Wars holocrons. And then a big bin here of uh, one of the hitchhiking ghosts. This is, what is his name? It is Gus. This is a bowl. I don't know what this does. You can see the ghost in there. You push the button, there's like a yellow light. Um, yeah, I'm a little confused on what that is. There's a welcome sign from the Tomorrowland Chamber of Commerce. It's Tomorrowland, the future that never was, is finally here. Yeah, I see the Tomorrowland Chamber of Commerce welcomes you. Like the League of Planets, the Loyal Order of Little Green Beings, Association of Retired Aliens, and Sleepless Nights of the Milky Way. Just baskets of Disney remote controls. Just think about all the people that have touched they touched these remotes. Like a Mickey art piece here. Looks like he's splattered with paint. He's got a ghostly child there in his ear. And I'm trying to figure out exactly where this is from. It says, celebrate Mickey 75 years of inspiration. It says, uh, nationwide tour brought to you by Coca-Cola. And this is from, it has Ro Rosie O'Donnell's name on it. It's like it's Rosie O'Donnell's charity there. You see Goofy there dressed in some ill-fitting uh, Santa Claus garb. I don't know what he's doing with that rag there. Maybe like washing a window or something. A little Snow White display here. 
Of course, no climbing. No climbing on Snow White. You don't want to break her head off or anything like that. Yeah, look at that. Just a uh, grocery cart full of giant, giant uh, jars of Jif peanut butter. So here's the retail section. I guess this is Disney products that are maybe overstocked or slightly damaged or things like that. And uh, they get the employees, the, the first crack at uh, purchasing them. Oh no, Jen, what did you find? A giant Doctor Strange? That certainly is a giant Doctor Strange. A Dumbo purse. You like it here? <laughs> These are pretty cool. These are the handheld fast pass signs they would use uh, back in the fast pass, fast pass plus days. Of course, they don't have fast pass anymore. They have uh, Lightning Lane, Disney Genie, what have you. So uh, these are historical artifacts. Now, remember they used these uh, a lot during the uh, pandemic when they had to stretch the lines out a bit more. Yes, this is uh, you know, Pirates of the Caribbean, uh, Alien Swirling Saucers, Space Mountain, Toy Story Mania, and uh, this is Docking Bay 7. I think this is just for, uh, just for shopping at, uh, at uh, the Galaxy's Edge. The small world here. The uh, Buzz Lightyear, the, the, the Splash Mountain Fast Pass line, which that'll be uh, that'll be uh, historic for more than more than one reason. Jungle Cruise and Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Rail Railway. Here's a little a plushed a plush topiary. That's Mickey, like a uh, a Mickey Bush from the uh, Flower and Garden Festival at Epcot. Look at all those Mickey bushes. Oh dear. Oh no. <laughs> Things got out of control. What? <laughs> I don't know what to do. Oh, there's a there's a Loki. There's a Life Day orb. A Life Day there's orb. A Pride BB-8. <laughs> there's a wooden stormtrooper doll. Oh, that's kind of unique. Oh, this was from um, oh, what was that movie? Rogue One. The little girl oh, had. Little girl yeah, she had the oh, little toy. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, stormtrooper at the beginning. I, I don't know what to do. Oh no, Jen. Oh no. <laughs> so that's like, what is, oh, you have to, it's like a matching, little matching game. Yeah. Oh, what's that, who's that guy's name? Which one? Uh, him? Yeah. I can't remember. I saw, his, I remember his name, or people, I didn't know his name in one video and people were correcting me. I think they had a mask at Spirit, but you got Greedo, you got this guy, these, these are all, there's a Boba Fett, these are all like different bounty hunters. Bounty hunters. There's a royalty wig up there. Are you sure you don't need a... I was just going to say, do you think I need one? Because I kind of do. Uh, I, I mean, you don't it's think I cool, but I just don't know. <laughs> like, do you know when you would wear it? I was thinking I could wear it to, like, Disney, but I would be that so warm. doesn't sound... It doesn't seem comfortable. Yeah, no. All right, I'm going to pass on the Disney. Or on, on, on the layaway. On the layaway. <laughs> so, I don't know, Jen. Do you need a... Uh, do you need these Dargeric? figure sets I feel like I do I need a so those are like the yeah it. those are like the they, they play chess like game in the Millennium Falcon and uh, <laughs> I'm so defeated. there's I'm a happy do you need a do you need a Maz Kanata statue no, I can pass on that what about one. the Supreme Leader Snoke no, statue? no one needs a Snoke no I, I don't know what those Brada are. Brada Danlos and Faya Ron Deems I don't know what that is I don't know what they are either all right let's determine what I'm going to definitely get. <laughs> I'm definitely going to get this. Oh, you like the wood storm the wood stormtrooper? Well, I'm definitely going to get the purse and the chewy. Loki's only 25. Oh, it's a Loki. It's a discounted Loki. And I think Dr. Strange is only 25. He's only five. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, if you bought these at the parks, they'd be like Trillions. A lot more than that. Yeah, trillions, yes. Now it's interesting, they do have a grocery section here at Cast Connections. And uh, yeah, you have a big big stack of Wonder Wonder Bread right next to uh, right next to the Star Wars stuff. So there's Lando Calrissian right next to the Wonder Bread. Man, look at this. All this Swiss cheese there for just eight dollars. Over here we have these these little bags, these are like soft purses, but they're made to look like that uh, classic, old school Disney uh, lunchbox. 
You can see, uh, yeah, it's got the castle and the monorail there in the back. And look at this, you turn it around, and it's the Country Bears. Oh my goodness. Oh, look what they have over here. The Croc section. These are cool. These are like Florida, Florida Crocs. Let's see if they have my size. I wear a a men's 11, which can be really hard to find sometimes. Let's see up up here. Oh uh, no, it doesn't look like they have my size, unfortunately. It's a pretty cool orange bird statue. It's actually digging in the ground, presumably planting an orange tree. It says think orange. You want one of those for the car? <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. Oh no, Jenner. <laughs> I'm literally teary. It's a vintage Star Wars action figure purse. That's got like one of the old toy cards there. This is Bring the greatest the thing I've ever seen in my you're so, life. You're so happy? Yes, I don't. Yes. Yes. Are these also the greatest things you've ever no, seen? <laughs> I mean, if I just got this, like. This is your favorite so far? Yes. Mm -hmm. This and this guy. What, that's that the wooden, yeah. the wooden stormtrooper. <laughs> yeah. This is now taking the place of the Dumbo purse. Okay. This, okay, Look at this purse. I'm looking at it. Now this is not for sale, but this is one of the most amazing things I've seen here. This is the old uh, Sneezy dark ride car for Snow White's uh, scary adventure. Each dwarf had their own uh, their own vehicle. So here's Sneezy's sitting here. Now it's been transformed into a rack for uh, for Disney purses. But man, yeah, piece of piece of dark ride history sitting here in the store. See some of the detail there on the side, the squirrels and the owl faces. There are boxes and boxes of this character here. This is from, okay, Raya, Raya the Last Dragon. I'm not seeing that movie. This is like some sort of like a little fluffy armadillo-like creature. I feel bad for the guy. Didn't seem like didn't seem like anyone wanted to wanted to own his uh, his plushie. So Jen, you actually knew who that who that was? Well, I've never seen. Is this a puppet? I'm trying to figure out like what it does. This it, is Tuck Tuck. And what does he do? Is he an armadillo? I think he's an armadillo. I um in one of my videos I showed him at um Ollie's and I kept talking about how I have to see the movie and how cute he is. But look at his little face. Is I that, love him. Is that a rule? Do you have to see the movie before you buy the toy? I think so. <laughs> Otherwise, I just have a. Have you ever bought something kids. like a character that you had no idea who he was, but he was just so cute that you? <laughs> Toothless from How I Met Your. How I Met Your. How, not How I Met Your Dragon. Is how, that what? <laughs> how to Train Your Dragon. How I Met Your Dragon. How I Met Your Dragon. Like <laughs> how I Met Your Mother, but with a dragon. You bought you know? him even though you'd not seen the movie. Yeah, but then I saw it. Did you like it? I did. I was trying to figure out why he's so floppy. Like, is he an accordion? Like, I don't, I don't think he's an accordion. I, don't I think know what's he's a little here. Maybe armadillo. I watched too much Weird Al yesterday. Watch too much How I Met <laughs> How I Met Your Dragon. Yes. Now, Disney does make a lot of these really cool pins, but I don't know. I feel like if I added all these pins to my hat, that my uh, my neck would break. Do you have a new You have a new friend? A new friend there, Jen. I got the, con the controls here. Let's see. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> Why do I, we just keep finding more things? I'll see you on Monday. I'm off on Sunday. Okay. Is he making like evil little owls? Yeah. Just an example of how much stuff is discounted here. You see these. Uh, Star Wars monkey lizards are the price tag says that they are uh, they're they're sixty dollars. So if you were in the parks, you'd be pay sixty dollars for one of these. But here they are, thirteen dollars. Have the Jungle Cruise hungry, hungry hippos there. Doesn't look too different from the regular uh, hungry, hungry hippos. I remember as a kid playing hungry, hungry hippos. You just pounded on the thing. We didn't even keep score. We just liked making the hippos eat the little balls. I guess they're coconuts. Coconuts here. I remember the, do you remember the old Jungle Cruise ride? They actually would 
the, 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 the skipper would actually shoot the hippo with a gun. Yeah, they don't, they don't do that anymore. I remember seeing these in the Star Wars stores a while back. And I had no idea what it was from. Apparently no one else did either. <laughs> they got a bunch of them for sale. A little Main Street purse there with the, uh, the Dapper Dance. They're super cute. I think they've got the wall of discounted Mickey ears here. These are only six dollars, which is a pretty good price for for mini ears. You can see the uh, Stitch coffee mug there. It's interesting. It's got the big mouth there. It doesn't leave doesn't leave all that much room for coffee. So Jen's made a decision. She's She's gonna go. She got the the layaway. The wig. Just you know, downside. Just to wear around the house. Yeah, you know, just watch TV, wear your layaway. wig. And here's the ultra super exclusive area, Mickey's treasures. And there's no no guests, no friends allowed in here. You have to be a a Disney employee and get the real good stuff in here. It actually closed today, so one of the hardest places to get in here at Disney. Who's, who's that? Is that? That's Han. That's Young Han? Young Han. I'm going to put this on your nightstand for when you're away. What? Why? So I can look at him instead. He'll <laughs> keep me Aww. company. Do so you like Young Han or Old Han better? Old Han. Old Han? Oh, there's no question. <laughs> Is that a... Monorail. It's a dog toy monorail? <laughs> Do you think Cammy would like it since she likes big toys? No. <laughs> Did you buy something, John? Things got a little out of control. <laughs> oh no! And and you're holding a bag besides. Yeah, I got I got I got this bag too. There's some. Yeah. <laughs> I got I got some stuff. <laughs> so thank you for joining us here today at uh, Cast Connections here at uh, Walt Disney World. Disney. So Jen, what did you uh? What did everything. You, you bought everything. It was it was actually um, she did buy a crazy amount of stuff, but actually <laughs> it was um, it was, it was really reasonable. really inexpensive, really highly 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 discounted. Um, I mean, I know I had a bunch of stuff, but it was a good deal. Was I got a little like the blue salacious crown. I know that's not his name, but they come the uh, space monkey. I don't know, not space. Yeah, monkey. it's something like that. Um, I just call them all salacious crown. So I got him for my shoulder and, and the wig for your head. The Princess Leia wig. I got the chest set. Um, so now I need to buy a chess board. Yeah, we're looking at the, we're, now we're shopping for a chess board. So I got the chess pieces. What kind of a chess board sells the pieces separately? That's crazy. I'll just throw out the chess pieces. <laughs> Or store them and learn how to play chess. Learn how to play Maybe chess. Maybe someone wants to teach me how to play chess. But I think you need like the circle. Isn't the board circular? Maybe, I don't know. Yeah. I'll just buy a checkerboard or like Candyland and you put it a, on it. I don't buy know. A, by, you're saying you're just going to buy a regular checkerboard and throw away the pieces and put the monster pieces on? Yeah. They sell light up. They also sell like tiered chess. That's like three different. Oh, I can't play 3D chess. That's too. Too much. That's Can a, you play chess at all? I used to, I used to know how. Oh, I honestly, I figured you. I honestly don't know if I could, uh, if I could uh, play it these days. I could just <laughs> this jump. This paper straw is disintegrated. Oh yeah, what's? Yeah, the paper. <laughs> this is a total. Nothing to do with anything, but yeah, the, I like, I like the paper straws that they save the environment. But I'm always worried that that I'm eating paper. I'm I, I always eat paper every I'm time. Paper. Well, it's like coming out the bottom of the cup too. So you're not this is to... a very biodegradable cup. <laughs> yeah, I stopped at Chipotle earlier, so the cup is it's biodegrading in my car. That's okay. What else did I good. buy? What else did you buy? Um, I bought you the little orange bird that I already bought me say the that. orange bird, yeah. And you bought the 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 purse. The purse! The greatest purse in existence. It has action figures on it. I wanted to buy two, one to like have pristine and then one to use, but I didn't because I didn't want to be that guy. Um, I feel like I bought more. Yeah. Uh, I, I bought orange like juice. Orange juice? Because <laughs> I was thirsty while shopping. But yeah, it's pretty cool. I, uh, you know, you have to have a, you have to find a, a friend to take you that works at, works at uh, Disney. So my recommendation, make a friend. Make a friend that works at Disney. Oh, and I bought BB Proud. BB Proud. Oh yeah, the little uh, 
BB-8 droid for, for Pride Day. Pride Month, I'm sorry. And uh, I didn't um, buy the Life Day orb. I'm already starting to regret things. Oh, like I feel like I should have just not the orb things? and those statues. You're at, what is that? You're, you're having the reverse of buyer's remorse? You're re being remorseful for things you didn't buy? Yes. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us. Uh, if you like these videos, please subscribe. I travel around the country. I film roadside attractions, amusement parks, museums, haunted houses, and other fun things. If you'd like to help support the channel, consider donating to Patreon. Patreon! $3 or more will get you a postcard once a month from me to you. Also selling enamel pins, including the new... Do we have one you in have here? One? I know, I was just looking too. I don't see He's one. He's a cute little Fiji oh, wait, wait. mermaid! I actually do have one. We have the... Uh, Look how cute he is! I don't know if you can see how cute he is. But there is the uh, Carpetbagger Fiji Mermaid pin now available in the Etsy shop. That's down below. Everyone needs a pin of my boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> and all that helps keep this train on the track, this boat in the water, and this dirigible in the air. Until next time, my friends. I have a vlog! What? I have a vlog. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you check out... Uh, Jen, she actually didn't film today. I don't know if she... I really wanted to when I walked in. I was like, oh no, there's so many toys. But then I was so excited and couldn't decide what to get that I, I couldn't get to filming. Like, so I was excited. just too happy. Uh, at Jenny Penny YouTube at is Je the handle. At Jenny Penny YouTube. I think they're using I'm handles I'm sorry, now. I interrupted your, uh, and, uh, your outro. Where was I? Oh, this one's in the bag. The shopping.